Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Heat 4. And in this episode of our season with Stuart Friesen's number 52 Hallmark Chevrolet, we're going to be doing the final race of the season, which is the Ford EcoBoost 200 at Homestead Miami Speedway. In the last weekend, we went to ISM Raceway in Phoenix, and that was where Grant Finger got himself, uh, I, I think, a win. He locked himself in out of that. He, he made it in instead of Matt Crafton, which was kind of disappointing. He just uh, couldn't seal the deal. Then at Martinsville, off the final corner, Ross Chastain passes for the lead, and he locked himself in. And then we go ahead and take a look at the final four uh, right here. Yeah, there they are, Chastain, Enfinger, and Moffitt. And Moffitt, he never actually won something. He got, just got in on consistency, and we won the first race of the final round, and that was at Talladega. Or, not the final round, but the, the round of six or whatever. But uh, this one's for all the marbles. Whoever finishes best out of those four drivers wins a championship. And I don't think I'll be very surprised if I don't win the title because, you know, it's just a, a shit shoot whenever it comes to the final race. And I don't know how good I am at this track in this game. But finally, it's a night race at Homestead, so that's something I can definitely appreciate. And we've actually had a very competitive season. I didn't always have the lead. I was always battling with either Chastain or Moffitt. I don't expect Grant and Finger to be doing that well, but maybe he will. Maybe he won't. Uh, let's just have fun one last time and give it all we got. Something that I should probably say is, due to this entire game, make it so that you have to lap the gas on almost every track, unless it's a super speedway. It puts you in a situation where you have to be concerned. If I can't do well in this race, then we're going to have a serious problem going to the Xfinity Series and Cup Series, because I should be able to do something there. But, uh, the pole lap time is a 32.24. It's a bit loose in turn one and two. Um, try to stay on the throttle right here, we should be fine. Uh... Just don't know how we are going to be in comparison to the AI. We might be tighter than them. We might be way faster than them. In the past, it's like I've been just like way superior to them in some cases. Okay, middle of the road qualifying. It's kind of what it's been all season. Sometimes I'll start in the top ten, but usually it's right on this area. Alley Decker's me starting underneath me. I, I couldn't qualify better than Alley Decker. Oh my goodness. Ty Gillen starting in 20th usually does quite well now that we're in the playoffs. I don't know why he couldn't have made the playoffs. Then might actually be in the final four. Chastain will be starting 11th, Enfinger in 10th, so they're a small distance away from us. And Red Moffat is starting in 3rd, so he's looking to win this championship. Maybe he'll do it, but uh, it looks like Enfinger and Chastain have got some positions again, and of course I always do. So we're on the, the default setup. It felt fine, but we're going to have to find out how it really is once we're racing against these guys. It might be too tight or too loose, like I said. We're still 16th, so no one from us got into the back, and we have to start from the outside. And of course, like I said, it's nighttime at Homestead. I haven't been able to race at nighttime at Homestead since, like, NASCAR 15. And I didn't even enjoy playing the freaking Utechnics NASCAR games that much, but I've been playing all these old NASCAR games, so it feels like it's been 10 years or something because I always play those games and not really play the Utechnics NASCAR games that much. I've actually never done a Utechnics NASCAR game Let's Play on this channel. Uh, whenever I do one, I would like for it to be NASCAR, the game inside line. Actually, what I said might have been incorrect because we have the, the Race Now series on NASCAR 15 or um, the NASCAR 2011, the game. But I mean like a season mode Let's Play. It's a whole different deal whenever it's something else. We had a good restart, you know, we had to start 16th and we're in 13th now, we're getting a run down the back stretch. There's a major checkup on the inside line though, Let's take advantage of that, Chastain's getting caught up in it. Looks like Matt, not Matt Crafton, Brett Moffitt is aiming for the lead right now. Ugh, we're a bit tight, but of course we got that restart speed. Uh, once things start, you know, getting in motion, they spread out a little bit, everyone's, you know, just going at it all the way, you might start to really see how these guys race, because right now I just feel like it's restart speed. Um, I think we're doing pretty well. We got a good truck. We're hanging in there. It's only two laps of the first stage. So it's not very long for me to really feel how this is all going to go. I'm guessing like the second stage will only be like a lap longer, if anything. Stay off the throttle. I uh, probably should have gotten on a little bit earlier, but we started 16th, and we're going to finish the first stage in 7th. I, okay, my bad. I don't know if that was because of that major checkup going down the back stretch or... We were just that good at the restart, but things were starting to really spread out once we went down the back stretch the second time. So yeah, Brett Moffitt, he started third, didn't he? Or maybe he started second? I don't freaking remember, but he's in second right now. He's on the outside, so that's good for us. And we've done put Chastain behind us and Grant Enfinger. Well, Grant Enfinger's in ninth, so he's going to be starting right behind me in my mirror. So, I can take a pit stop. No one else is. We'll probably have our pit stops at the end of the second stage. 
I the face cam is shaking like crazy because the fucking washing machine or whatever, and it is still shaking. I I don't like that. I wish that would stop. That would be great. It's probably very unsettling for you guys. I'm just I'm just looking at my face cam. This is just it won't stop. Uh, at some point it will. Now it's a lot darker that we started the uh, third stage of the race. Oh damn, the tires already started coming. I can feel it just not wanting to do anything but sit in that middle lane. But of course, we still get the restart speed that we had a while ago. Passing Crafton, and of course, like I said, Moffitt's on the outside. He's trying to make it three wide right here. I'm trying to get to the inside. The trucks don't want to budge. Oh, I want to let off enough. The trucks started getting loose off the corner. Looking three wide, and I'm trying to hang on to this draft from. Is that Tyler? Tyler the nipple in the lead. Oh my gosh, that's a great way to end off the season. Uh, going for it. I'm trying to shut the door on me. And he did. Okay, we got a push from Tyler Ankrum. Uh, he's making me run into Matt Crafton again. I mean, Matt Crafton was doing the same thing a long time ago. Almost killed me. I think it was like Kansas or Kentucky or something. Uh, actually, it was probably Kansas because Kentucky is a completely different looking track. Uh, trying to pass Crafton. Oh, we're four wide at Homestead. Tyler Ankrum was working with me and now he's just flying back around me. Uh, this is Dylan Lupton, I think. The freaking Ross Estane on the inside, Matt Crafton on the outside. Uh, I want to clear him. I don't think we're going to... Uh, don't get too tight. Gosh, we are so out of grip now. Got a good shove from, I think, Dylan Lupton before I pulled down to the bottom. Now Ross Chastain's up here. He's he's on the move this stage. I right. Let's see if I can end this one ahead of him. Though it would be probably for the best if I didn't because then I'd be on the inside of the restart. Okay, Matt Crafton, lover boy. Come on, keep on pushing, keep on pushing. I, I just want to be ahead of Ross Chastain for the ego. Yep, we got it. We got fourth place. We're doing good. We're doing really good. Now, as for the final stage, it's the longest one. That's where things really start to spread out. Uh, we'll have fresh tires and everything. We'll have a good restart. Tyler Nipples just making this meme-worthy event. You know, you win. Well, we'll just sit back here and have our little battle. No one's paying attention to his race because of us. It's, it's so dumb. Oh, right front down to 46. I mean, the right front, it's not like it used to be at the beginning of the season. That was hilarious, but it is you know, still like the thing that wears out the most. So, I'm going to get enough fuel to make it the end of the race, which would be one can. We'll get four tires, have no damage. We're losing this thing up by half a round of wedge, and I think that's exactly what I want. We have gained a position, so I finished in front of Ross Chastain, and I gained a position, so I'm still on the inside of the restart. That That's just great. Th this is going so wonderful. Uh, JC, don't jinx it. Looks like we have 10 laps for the final stage of the race. And I'm probably going to get underneath uh, Tyler Ankrum and T Tyler Nipple, all, all the Tyler's in this freaking season. Into the lead we go. And if you've seen What If Races Career Mode Let's Play, it's kind of got this reputation whenever you do all the races that they do just pass you after a few laps if you do take the lead at the restart. Not very long, here comes Tyler the Nipple back to the lead. I mean, he's got to do what he's got to do, and he's the best guy out here. I mean, I don't know if it's throwing you off, because, you know, you're getting to see it all the time in the video, but, I mean, you know, every time I take a glance at that face cam to see if it's still shaking, it is. And I guess we're just going to spend the entire video being affected by the damn washing machine. 34? Who drives a 34? What? Josh Balicki. Josh Balicki's up here. Okay. Sam Goodwicky. I just overdrove turn three. That is great. And uh, he's pushing me. No, no, what are you doing? What are you doing? Your destiny is to kill Megatron. You're over here killing me instead. Uh, well, this is Harrison Burton. He didn't make the final four, so we're good. And now I'm getting pushed by Dylan Lupton. One second, Balicki's behind me. Now it's Dylan Lupton. I don't know when the hell this happened. I'm over here watching everything in front of me. Uh, seems like we've got ourselves a pretty hooked-in truck right now. They're three wide. I don't know where everybody else went. I don't see no Ross Chastain or Brett Moffitt, but... Matt Crafton's up here. I'm side drafting you. So maybe I'll have somebody to run into if I get too tight in the corner. I don't know. Well, that's, that's the thing. It's like freaking Josh Balicki won't stop running into me and there's someone on my outside. I wasn't expecting that to actually happen. I'm just trying to block you guys so I don't have somebody underneath me going into turn one. This is, this is kind of stressful because like all these people that have racing around me are just knocking me around right now. Okay, there, there's someone. That's Brett Moffitt. Brett Moffitt wants to push me. Why, I don't know. I'm going to get Gillen strapped. I'm just trying to stay ahead of Moffitt. He started up here, he's going to stay up here. He lost a few positions under the pit stop, apparently. Or after it, I don't know. Ugh, so tight. Gosh, these tires are just gone now. I was kind of expecting that. Now here's 
the, the 34, Josh Balicki. He's getting knocked around by him. At least I got this draft from Gilliland. It's like they hit the back of my truck and I just start sliding up the track or moving around from it because it just throws my truck off. I'm just trying to stay on this bottom lane. And once I get my corner speed perfect, that's when the truck just starts getting loose and crap because I turned the wedge down a little bit and now it, it gets loose anytime I finally reach that speed as low as it's supposed to go. Got three laps to go this time by. We're kind of pulling away. Am I just going to drive away with the championship? Okay, my tires are wearing down. We're at the end of the run. Am I going to blow a tire? Is, is, is this is this the one to do it? Is, are we going to have one of them cautions? I've got front bumper damage and rear bumper damage all because of all the freaking mess we've had with all the other trucks in this race. You can't be surprised, but the, the tire thing, yes. Like, wait all season for the next right front tire part. And then, well, there you go. It's got it's to be this one. We've got two laps to go. And the right front's at 13%. And I think I can make 13% last just um, a, a couple laps. Uh, it's down to 10%. I'm watching it. I'm trying to go easy on these tires, and I think I can if I take the corners slower. It's just I don't want to take them too slow and then have these championship contenders come up behind me and then take it all away. Okay. Gosh, I can feel it vibrating like crazy because I'm wearing the tires down. Just trying to be careful. Oh, goodness. It was 13% whenever I started that lap, now it's down to 7%. So that means I wore it like halfway down. Just trying to go easy. Gosh, we're getting loose and everything. Oh my gosh. Oh no. No, 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 no. I mean, if I do blow the tire, maybe they won't have enough time to catch me or something. I don't freaking know. Gosh, that is a massive gap. We got 5%. Can we make 5% last one corner? Can we do that? What if Matt Crafton made the final four? Would I be able to finish in front of him? Maybe. Okay, go easy. Go easy. Side draft. Side draft. I'm trying to. Okay, we didn't finish in front of Matt Crafton, but we win the Gander Outdoor Truck Series or Gander Outdoors Truck Series. I hope they won't stop changing the freaking name of this crap. I should be able to do donuts because I just won the championship, but uh, they're not giving me the option. Okay, yay, we did it. We, we won the championship on the XB Series with Brandon Jones. I know I said I was going to do it with... Jeffrey Earnhardt, but I'm still going to do it with Jeffrey Earnhardt's teammate. Hmm. Hmm. Now, that, that's how you get a thumbnail to end the season right there. Four wide, Moffitt, Chastain, and Grandenfinger just hanging in the background. I didn't even know he was there. But, um, this game makes some hot thumbnails. Like, put these thumbnails on Pornhub. Okay, well, let's get out of here. And I'll take a look at these results. And Tyler Nipple won the race. Okay. Tyler the Nipple. Or respectfully, because he won the race. Tyler Dimple. Uh, Harrison Burton, he won one of the stages, finished in fourth. Yeah, I forgot he was up here. Yeah, Matt Crafton. If, if only Matt Crafton had made it ISM. Gosh, I wanted it so bad. And he would have had it here. <sighs> like, imagine how much better he would have done if he had made it. Oh, my God. I hate that. And Chastain, he finished all the way back in ninth place. Brett Moff finished finished in sixth, and yeah, there were a couple guys in between us, but if I had just blown that tire, or maybe if I hadn't changed my setup, if I didn't think that was necessary, I wasn't sure if it really was, I mean, there's just so many scenarios where I couldn't have won this championship. Ugh, this, this was a good let's play. Um, I mean, I hate the fact that there's this playoff format and all this freaking crap, but it still made a lot of excitement. And into victory lane, there is the NASCAR Gander Outdoor Truck Series trophy, the championship. See, we're in victory lane, but they still didn't let us do donuts. I mean, come on, man. All the confetti, and there he is, Stuart Friesen. He, he won me the championship in NASCAR Heat 3, and I won the championship with Stuart Friesen in this game, too. And this freaking lamp in front of me that I put on the floor so I have good lighting is giving me a unibrow like it did ever since we changed this recording setup. This is why I want to do the Let's Play in the Xfinity Series, Brandon Jones. This car is hot, and it's green. Most green cars, they really aren't that appealing. I, I could name quite a few that are, but this one, it really gets me. And this one, this is a nice car with the silver and the magenta and the stripes and everything. Uh, this reminds me a lot of the Menard truck that I raced with Matt Crafton, but the reason I really usually was going to do it with Jeffrey Earnhardt, who's all the way over here. But this is the only one that he has. And I want it to be a Toyota Let's Play. I like doing a Let's Play with all different manufacturers whenever I get on these new NASCAR Heat games. And so we just did our Let's Play with um, the Chevy. 
Yeah, that, that was a Chevy, wasn't it? It was, um, yeah, Stuart Friesen and his Hallmark Chevrolet. But, um, I just passed him up. Okay, there he is. He's just hard to recognize because he's so unimportant. But this guy won a race in the 2019 Xfinity Series season. Somehow, someway. So every time we start a video with this guy, it's going to be our Let's Play with Brandon fucking Jones. Because, oh my gosh, I cannot believe that actually happened. It, it's not happening again. It, it, this is not some Austin Dillon right here. This, gosh. But yeah, we're going to... I'm going to select that one because that's my favorite paint scheme he's got. We'll use it whenever we go to Daytona for the NASCAR Racing Experience 300 next weekend. See you next time. That's that, and episode over.